Good Friday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, keeping you updated as to what's going on with the weather in the Mid-South, which fortunately for us is not as eventful as what's going on up into portions of Missouri. What we have for today, the forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, temperatures roughly back around normal today for Memphis into the I-40 corridor, cooler to the north, warmer to the south of I-40 because of the front that's draped across the area. Temperatures are much cooler in parts of the Mid-South and as of right now we're going to be seeing those temperatures remain well above freezing so nothing in the way of frozen precipitation but we could be seeing some problems with that. A lot of problems already starting to show up into parts of areas around Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma and Illinois this morning and parts of northern Arkansas. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little bit. What it looks like this morning a little bit more cloud cover, some fog around Jonesboro and the picture from the background of the area around the weather under ground systems camera from sound concepts incorporated straight chances of showers out there about 10 to 20 percent for this morning cloudy skies for the metro area mid to upper 40s for temperatures and that's about where we will stay into around the rest of the day today temperatures for this time of the year normal highs are about 50 degrees so that's about where we're going to wind up in memphis but temperatures will be a lot different both north and south of us north of us much colder air in place and that means we're going to be seeing a lot of problems starting off early this morning when it comes to anything involving ice and maybe freezing rain and sleet across much of the area the purple colors that you see around Missouri, Illinois, Kansas, Texas, and Oklahoma. Those are ice storm warnings. Those will be continuing through Sunday at noon for a good portion of the upper Midwest. We're again seeing the possibility of maybe half an inch to an inch of ice in some parts of the Ozarks back into southeastern parts of Kansas and into and around areas of northern Oklahoma and the northeastern panhandle of Texas. Now back a little bit closer to the mid-south just north of the area we have freezing rain advisories taking place and those will be sticking around as we go throughout the rest of the next couple of days at least in effect in many areas through about tonight at 6 to 12 from noon to about 6 p.m. later on this evening so that could be a bit of a problem if you're planning on heading anywhere into this various locations up here this is an area where you're going to have to watch out for winter storm watches in the blue well to the north of that area here in the mid-south we're seeing little if anything for this morning currently looking at little if anything in the way of rain around the metro area and into the eight o'clock hour some scattered light showers taking place here and there but otherwise nothing major at this time eastern arkansas seeing a few sprinkles from jonesboro down to i-40 west tennessee spotty sprinkles mainly around dyersburg back through about northeastern gibson county and a few more showers starting to show up around clarksdale back to i-55 around batesville west of water valley and all that drifting its way to the northeast earthquakes in the mid-south nothing to speak of for right now and none detected in the Mid-South News Channel 3 viewing area in the last 24 hours. Taking a look across the area where it comes to the forecast, again today we'll be showing a lot of cloud cover out there and also specifically the positive mixed in with those clouds as we get into the rest of the weekend. Again, little of anything in the way of major problems with cloudy skies in the metro area. No major delays reported this morning, but probably going to be seeing some showing up later on. Clouds and light fog at St. Francis in Cordova on Germantown Parkway. Very quiet traffic out there, almost post-rush hour. Cloudy with fog around Germantown at City Hall. One of our Weatherbug cameras, you can see at WREG.com slash webcams. A couple of brave golfers out this morning with temperatures in the 40s and low clouds at Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis. Power Center Academy on Winchester Avenue in Memphis. Low clouds, patchy haze and drizzle. Sunrise this morning was at 7.08. Also tomorrow and getting more time on daylight, 10 hours plus as we go throughout the next couple of days, so good news there. Two hundredths of an inch of rainfall, putting us above normal for the month and the year, both brand new on that. So we reset everything from last year, 79 hundredths of an inch above normal for this time of the year. For yesterday's highs, 76 degrees, 26 degrees above normal, and temperature about 28 degrees above normal for our low temperature, so very much on the mild side, again, way above normal for this time of the year. As we go throughout the rest of the day today, anything in the way of precipitation 
Ocean frozen will be well to our north. And mainly again for today, noticing a couple of big differences as we see the I-40 corridor sitting uh, right on in through about roughly here. North of I-40, we're showing again temperatures very much on the cool side going back into and around the mid to upper 30s. Some areas may not get out of the 30s today. And then back to the south of that, temperatures very much on the mild side, mid to upper 50s to lower to mid 60s. That's that front that is draped across the area and doing a very good job of keeping any cold air well away from our Mid-South location, with the exception again of the northwestern Tennessee, northeast Arkansas area, upper 30s to lower 40s there. But temperatures for this afternoon could be pushing 70 degrees down to around the area of Oxford. And then toward later on this afternoon as the kids get out of school around Dyersburg, temperatures in the mid to high 30s there. Rest of the afternoon, again, that'll be the recipe for temperatures out there. We'll see more chances of rainfall off and on into this evening around News Channel 3 at 10. Better chances of rainfall start to approach the Mid-South as we get into tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. More chances of showers more than anything else. Thunderstorms at this time, not really expected, but take the umbrella with you as you probably will be needing that into the rest of the day. Showers possible, just not all the time and for everybody. That forecast will continue right on into Saturday and Sunday as temperatures approach Again, very warm conditions out there, mid to upper 60s for highs, close to 70 degrees Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, back in the lower 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. The holiday on Monday, making it a day on for volunteer service instead of just another day off. Temperatures will be back in the high 60s, but we will also see the possibility of showers and thunderstorms scattered across parts of the area, so hopefully not a washout, but could be some rain and thunder out there. Into next weekend, temperatures cool off a bit but once again remaining well above normal so any chances of rain that we get across the area will be sticking around all the way into the next 10 days but way too warm for anything involving rainfall anything involving snowfall at this time so good 40s around Mozambique rock cloud cover out across much of Iraq for those of you who have friends loved ones or relatives serving in the United States military Persian Gulf temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s the areas of the Persian toward Afghanistan temperatures are up into the mountains into the mid Twizabad and Kabul at 23 degrees with cloudy skies. Cloudy also around Herat and Kandahar and then back to the DMZ southward. Temperatures in the teens around Seoul. Clear skies there. Also clear skies around the DMZ at Chunchan. Uh, 30s of clear skies around Pusan and cloudy skies in Kunsan and Tegu back in the mid to upper 20s there. And thank you to everybody for wearing the uniform. Like to share anything on social media, please send it along at aonic underscore WREG3. Be glad to have that and tune in for my forecast throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oli's 102.3 and also on Yahoo Sports Radio this morning until six, from 6 to 9 a.m. with Bob and Josh and that will also be coming up again next week, Monday through Friday. Don't forget about yeah. our app for your particular device. Go to your app store and search WREG Weather for more. Rest of the weekend, again, spotty showers. Not much of anything else going on, so definitely good news there. I'll have your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 for that. More at WREG.com slash weather. And if you'd like to know more about this or other online broadcasts that we offer, things of that nature, email me at austin.onic at WREG.com. Live from down Downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Friday, January 13th.